it starts on the day I quit drinking, and I, it was it was a it was a bad day. I woke up um, the day after my birthday party, so I had a really bad hangover, obviously. And um, I went down to my kitchen, and my kids were all making loads of racket, and I had a terrible headache. And I remember thinking you know, that the only thing that would make the headache go away is is hair of the dog, sort of another drink. But it was too early to pour a drink because, you know, I thought, you know, I had this hard and fast rule at the time. I had many hard and fast rules, but the main one was you never, ever drink before midday. You know, no, whether you're on holiday, whether it's the weekend, whatever, never before midday. And it was about 11 o'clock in the morning. And I just couldn't work out how I was going to get from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock um, with this terrible headache and all this racket and feeling really, you know, just generally awful. And I opened the cupboard and there was a tiny, tiny bit of red wine left in a bottle, which I saw as a sign because I rarely ever left anything in the bottom of a bottle. And I thought, OK, well, I'll just drink that inch of red wine and that might just take the edge off. And I reached into a cupboard, another cupboard and pulled out a mug because I thought, well, then the kids won't know that I'm drinking red wine rather than, than something acceptable like coffee. So uh, I poured the red wine into this mug and drank it. And I did feel a bit better, sort of almost immediately. And then I looked at the mug and it said on it, the world's best mum. You know, I felt so ashamed of myself that I haven't had a drink since then. That was, the, yeah, that was the very last drink I had. And that was six years ago now. Welcome to the tribe. This is your weekly podcast from Tribe Sober.